mindset, and body. Body mostly because tribalism is what you see, what you hear, what you know about visual descriptions. Dreadlocks, gangsters, thugs, graffiti, men, feminism. Very tribal. People who identify with certain beliefs and certain thoughts and thinking and they socially group up and join together. Most often to survive. And saying tribalism from Barack Obama, Mr. Former President Barack Obama, a mindset together restrict those two, saying those are the problems, so we need to get to the brain. <sighs> and getting to the brain with the mind and the body limited and reducing the so-called distractedness with tribalism and mindset, lock a person into their brain. Kind of like making everybody into thinking humans. and having the thoughts directed towards intelligence and smart, brilliance and genius as a way to calm and make people think better, smarter, wiser, A triangle best describes the mind, body, and brain. Taking two points off that triangle leaves two lines going towards one remaining point. And the focus and the concentration on the brain especially now can lead to fatigue, sorrow, and negative emotions. Not having the body to be a stimulus once in a while. Practicing judo, throwing your stuffed animal, and having a mind to control the brain, to, ne to, to negate some of the confusion with imagination. And also allowing the freedom to take a service animal, sloth, stuffed animal named raspberry and Have fun. Trying to judo throw the slowest moving, slowest behavioring, adorable, fluffy toy. My reaction to tribalism has to do with being disregarded. The person who can hear and they can know what they are receiving for information 
and to know what they're thinking, who understand thought. What I'm describing already gets complicated, comprehensive, complex, confusing, and hard to finish in a train of thought. The brain by itself wants a multi-million dollar house where the former president, Mr. Barack Obama, lives now. To always have a stimulus. But getting personal doesn't solve the problem. And saying, well, they do that, well, they're doing that, and their mindset has so much anger and resentment. There, there's no real clear end to this discussion. Okay, mindset, okay, tribalism, oh great. We have a really smart and intelligent law professor from Harvard to figure stuff out. And then that person who's going to solve the problem will go to the next person to give them what they need to solve the problem and then they'll keep going. Like putting the quarters in a slot machine and knowing the slot machine will always go wing. I get worried with so much emphasis on the brain right now during the pand pandemic and coronavirus. There's no stimulus. There's marijuana. There's politics and news and media and politicians. But there sure as heck ain't a neighbor to go say, hey, you wanna hang out? Or someone down the street, hey, you wanna hang out? No, there's people on Facebook, there's people on Instagram, there's people on Twitter, there's people on social media. On a technological device, internet, connecting and sharing the world. And the brain can only do so much until consciousness gets too dreary and too hard to recognize and There needs to be something to re-energize the world and re-inspire the brain. Pretty much these two talking points make the discussion so high level and so intellectual. Folks like me who read book after book at the college level end up getting just a bunch of time wasted and making more depression knowing, well, these special people and these really great folks and awesome humans, good people and folks, are doing the hard work while 
I'm living a poor life with no future, no hope, spoken about previously, no idea how to change. This patheticness, restrictiveness, this control, this power, insistently placed on my mind and my body and my brain being reduced to some machine, some not talked about part of who I am. No matter how hard, how long I stare, I can't figure out why someone would want to take away two parts of a human, the body and the mind, and say they are being incorrectly used. Tribalism mindset. Fix them and focus then on the brain. Kind of like interrogating, taking away the light, taking away the freedom of the body to move with shackles. The mind has no work to do in the dark. The eyes can't see. There's no information, no data to help the brain with. And then the brain gets scared, confused, in disarray, and the torturer does their work now. Nobody talks about attitude anymore. Nobody talks about being strong and powerful and humble. The best parts of martial arts, the best parts of being spiritual. Black belt, Buddhism. They're motivating, they're helpful and useful during difficult times. And way more easy to understand than two words from a brilliant genius who taught at Harvard and lives in a $100 million house now in Martha's Vineyard who has Secret Service protection forever to make sure nobody ever wants to come up and say, I don't understand what you're saying. Because there's violent people in the world, crazy people and requiring these kinds of services, prestige. with no problem solving for what to do with people like me now. The end.